In campaign 2016, the presidential contenders paused their efforts this week after the Dallas ambush. Our political analyst is Professor Jack Pitney from Claremont McKenna College. We want to welcome you back to the show. So certainly a week of violence, Baton Rouge, Minneapolis, Dallas. How do you think it's going to affect the presidential campaign? Well, Hillary Clinton uh, has already talked about gun control. She's already talked about police reform, although it's not clear how much the federal government can actually do. Uh, for Donald Trump, it's different. His initial response was relatively restrained, at least by Donald Trump standards. Mm -hmm. The problem for Trump is that he has a tendency to improvise, go off the cuff, and that's where he gets into trouble. Another problem for Trump is his supporters. A lot of his supporters aren't as restrained. For example, the head of his Virginia campaign actually blamed Hillary Clinton for creating the atmosphere that led to the Dallas incident. Mm -hmm. uh, so the pro uh, potential for trouble is much greater on the Trump side. Mm -hmm. The FBI is not recommending charges against Hillary Clinton over her handling of emails. What's the political impact here? Uh, an indictment would have been an absolute catastrophe for Clinton. You'd already have people talking about forcing her off the ticket. But the damage is done. Uh, the FBI director said she was extremely careless, and we can expect the Trump campaign to use those words against her throughout the fall campaign. Mm. Uh, now there's an investigation by the State Department underway, and that could cause additional embarrassment for Hillary Clinton. Wow. And right after the Justice Department closed its inquiry into the Clinton emails, the State Department opened its own investigation. What is the political fallout? Well, it involves security clearances. Now, presidents do not need security clearances, and what's generally not known, members of Congress don't need security clearances either. Uh, but she does have key aides, and if she's elected president, and if the security clearances are lifted from these key aides, they couldn't serve in very important jobs in the White House, and that creates uh, a certain level of embarrassment for her. All right, let's talk about Donald Trump. He continues to make controversial comments everywhere he goes and online. Uh, what do you make of this, and what is the impact? Is it helping or hurting? It's definitely hurting. Uh, he uh, had this tweet about uh, Hillary Clinton being the most corrupt candidate ever, and <laughs> it was in a Star of David, and he keeps obsessing about denying that it was the Star of mm -hmm. David. Uh, and that creates uh, a Twitter storm that it further sure damages did. his uh, popularity, further damages his image. Uh, and uh, this is going to be very damaging to Trump as the campaign rolls on. And how is he doing here in California? He's doing very badly here in California. This week we had a field poll showing he was way, way behind Hillary Clinton. In fact, among voters under 40, he's only three points ahead of the Libertarian Party candidate, wow. Gary Johnson. Uh, so California is off the table for Donald Trump. The only question is how much damage is he going to do to Republicans running for Congress and the state legislature? Huh. And we hear that he's coming to Bel Air on Thursday. What's his uh, motivation for that? Money. <laughs> uh, Trump uh, says he uh, is self-financing his campaign. He isn't. He has to raise a lot of money from other people. Uh, and he's going to come to Bel Air, which is where the money mm -hmm. is. Uh, but he's not doing it to uh, get votes. He realizes, even though, despite what he said, he's not going to carry California. But he can use California as his ATM. All right. Thanks so much for your time and your insight, Professor. And be sure to stay with KCAL 9 News and KCAL 9.com for continuing coverage of campaign 2016.